welcome to my presentation uh, his, historically uh, the coastal uh, people of our country used to catch fish from the bay of bengal some time uh, immortal may, may be a thousand years or like that and uh, they, there are only traditional type of fishing and those are for their uh, self consumption and livelihood uh, but but after the independence the father of the nation bangabandhu sheikh mujibur rahman envisioned the prospects of the of this rich ecosystem and he introduced first 10 fishing trawlers to modernize and to capture more fish from from the bay of bengal that is the start really he also enacted the territorial waters and maritime zone act in 1974 that's the early uh, early start after the liberation and uh, now we have uh, we we have already found uh, through our uh, research vessel that we have 475 fish species, 36 shrimps, crabs, 15 mollusks, lot of mollusks, 301 oyster six, and other things. Especially also 11 uh, species of dolphins are available here coral 13 we have coral reefs also and in freshwater we we have also a rich uh, uh, diversity we have 260 fish species now in bangladesh for culture we have 12 exotic uh, fishes fishes and uh, and we have 24 freshwater streams also and uh, the now in, in the researchers of uh, our universities they also found some other species those should be addressed uh, over here but uh, we have to validate those and we have to include those species in marine species list and uh, our this is our uh, the resource the marine resource we have uh, 118,813 square kilometer. The area is uh, it's, it's like a Bangladesh. So it's a big area, but now we need to ex explore this. Uh, so next. So this is the fishing zones. You can uh, see source of no ground zone middle zone south patches and south of south patches these are the major fishing area of, of the bay of bengal but now we can see in the next slide our uh, fishing status please mm, this is the uh, uh, the area we have mentioned earlier the production from marine waters is about uh, 0.67 million metric tons it's the statistics of 19 and 20 of which hilsha 45 percent stream six percent and other uh, fishes 49 percent um, and over a half a half a million fishers depends on coastal and marine fisheries for their livelihood number of vessel you know in industrial fleet it's 257 and the mechanized artisanal boats it's about 30000 we have uh, earlier we have a uh, have done a, a create a database that's uh, uh, including uh, not also non-mechanized boats, so 
that was 67,000, of which about 30,000 are mechanized or artisanal, of course. Export earning, it's almost from the postal shrimp farming. Uh, it's about, uh, it's uh, 494 million US dollar, equivalent to um 39850 million bangladeshi uh, taka per per capita fish consumption is 62.58 gram it's the statistics of uh, 2060s we hope that we can uh, we can guess that it's it's now increased there's the trawling and other fishing act activities in the bay of bengal you can see here that uh, we have no fishing in the deep sea area. That's the scenario of our fishing in the Bay of Bengal. We have some policies and legal sort of things. We have we have fisheries policy. It's under review, and and the FAO and other partners that assisting us to update this we have also a strategy in 2006 it's developed under the first fourth fisheries uh, project and 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 now we have to again review it after the review of the policy we will work with this strategy again we have marine fish fisheries act you, you know recently in uh, 2020 it's uh, approved by the parliament and and you also know that the concern rule marine fisheries rule it's under approval it's now in in the ministry you know it's it's a it's a long process to approve it, it in bangladesh because many ministry many st stakeholder have to review this so it, it is taking time and also we have we are signatory of some international obligations unclose we are signatory focrf port state measures agreement and also we have a, is dz 14.4 though uh, those are our obligations also and uh, and and our mandate is to develop the blue economy in a sustainable way and you know is is dz 14 it's if the it's uh, the idea is, is to conserve and sustainably use the ocean seas and marine resources uh, and its sustainable development uh, you know hdc goals are, are it's 17 goals and 169 targets uh, and and our ministry is uh, leading six targets this uh, all are known to all, uh, I think, that uh, target of 14.4 uh, is DZ target is by 2020, sustainably manage the product marine and coastal ecosystems. It was the target, target 14.4 uh, by, uh, by 2020, effectively regulate harvesting and end. end overfishing illegal un unreported and th that is iu fishing we have to reduce it and destructive fishing practice and implement science based management plan target 14.5 by 2020 conserve at, at least 10 percent of coastal and marine uh, areas And uh, the target uh, 14.5 by 2030 increase the economic benefit benefits to small uh, small island development states and least developed 
countries from sustainable use of marine resources target 14 point b is target uh, 14 for access is uh, access to small uh, small scale art, artisanal fishers to marine resources and markets to step Uh, yes, 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 it is. It is, yeah. And and we have we have already developed a a marine fisheries management plan for in for, for the industrial fleet, and it's almost reviewed by the ministry, and hope hope that by this week it will be approved by the ministry. So we can say that we have. a uh, very uh, the first the marine fisheries management plan of uh, for the uh, for the industrial fleet this is the first plan uh, and to this uh, this plan is is to establish compliance through stakeholder participation it's a really challenge for us and regulated fishing to sustain harvest year after year and re retain value of catch maximum economic return and food safety these are the base of the this uh, are the target to uh, target to uh, establish the plan to uh, to effect uh, to make effective the plan we will achieve this sort of things and the basis of this plan is the ecosystem approach for fisheries management co management precautionary ap approach and adaptive management this is the basis of our plan and we have some uh, marine fisheries conservations also 65 days moratorium on catch of all types of marine fish from bangladesh marine waters uh, it's from 20th may to 23rd of july of each year and also we have 22 days moratorium on catch of fish it's uh, now going on uh, it's uh, we started from uh, this year it started from 4th october it will be continued to 25th of october uh, it was in said that net prohibited within 10 meter depth uh, really we working on it and uh, throughout that we are enforcing these uh, rules in the uh, concerned areas with the assistance of law and enforcing agency and the uh, other uh, agencies of government of bangladesh and we have also prohibition on uh, post blarvian fry collection from east estuary and coastal waters of bangladesh and also we have a prohibition of discard from fishing vessels and uh, and uh, according to the sdg target we already achieved uh, we we have to had to achieve uh, the mpo or marine reserve um, total 10% of the total area but still uh, till date we have achieved 4.73 percent that is 5624 square kilometer named the areas are nijhum the mpa middle ground and south patches marine reserve and and another one is swatch of no ground mpa under wildlife conservation act 2012 these three, three three areas now under a 
uh, 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 protected area as a as a conserved area. Bangladesh government already taken up different act activities to develop the to uh, develop the blue e economy and to harvest more benefit from it from it uh, one one project already been completed through which we have received the the research vessel and did some works and on ongoing project the sustainable coastal and marine fisheries project and the pilot project on tuna and uh, similar pelagic fishing in deep sea these two are ongoing under, under the marine fisheries cap capacity building we have uh, we have got a, a research vessel and, and 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 the vessel already completed 31 survey crews and identified 430 marine fish species of fishes and uh, stock assessment done under uh, and it's it's now continuing as uh, and, uh, and uh, established under that uh, marine fisheries capacity building and also have developed a database on fishing vessels and uh, pilot project this is only to see how much uh, fishes uh, how much valuable fishes in the deeper area of the Bay of Bengal and to uh, build up the capacity of DF at coastal fishermen to uh, in, in tuna fishing uh, and and the bigger one the world bank financed the sustainable coastal and marine fisheries project is the is the biggest investment in marine fisheries sector of bangladesh and it's uh, you know it's funded by IDA and also GOB, and the PDO is is to increase coastal and marine fisheries contribution to the economy, and also the po poverty reduction and environmental stability. Also, the PDO, but the first uh, first phase PDO is to Im improve management of coastal and marine fisheries and aquaculture. Major act, act, activities we have stock assessment and marine fisheries management plan, um, uh, st strengthening of legal frame, frameworks like uh, rules and other sort of things, guidelines, develop mechanisms uh, for effective implementation of MCS system. Uh, for reduction of IUU fishing, develop vessel registration and licensing management system, develop infrastructure and enhance production facilities for coastal belt fisheries capture and culture also, upscaling of cluster farming for shrimp and boosting coastal aquaculture productivity, develop value chain and in ensure food safety, grant facility on action research, strengthen community-led uh, fisheries management and, trans and transform livelihoods in poor fishing communities. Um, and also business development and market linkages for alternate livelihood. This, this, uh, these act activities is to reduce the fishing pressure uh, on the Bay of Bengal and uh, uh, the way forward we are thinking that uh, we have to establish and functioning the PMS AIS uh, and joint management uh, center for MCS to compliance 
regulated fishing and end product MPA in the Bay of Bengal. Regular stock survey and assessment for evidence based management, development of uh, software systems and manpower, transform livelihoods of poor fishers. You know, a big, a bigger number of fishers are fishing in the Bay of Bengal. If we uh, like to conserve and uh, make, make the resource sustainable, we have to reduce the number of fishers in the Bay of Bengal. So we are trying to transform their livelihoods. Step forward, deep sea and distant water fishing like tuna and similar pelagic fishes. And also we would like to mention here that we need uh, the knowledge and other supports in some areas uh, like stock assessment and specifically the data analysis, interpretation and modeling, marine spatial planning, sustainable mariculture, management decision making and policy for formulation development functionalization of effective MCS system, data IU fishing, Im improvement of post-harvest quality and value addition, value chain analysis and development. These are the area where we are looking for the support and for the knowledge. Also, we need the, uh, to Im improve the traditional uh, preservation method we are uh, now uh, uh, doing with and the to establishment and foundation of co-management in marine fisheries because this idea in Bangladesh is, is very new in the marine fisheries management. So we need some knowledge and also ex experience in this regard and also the dynamics it's also a an, a, an idea we, we need also no, no knowledge and also some on hand uh, hand on um, practice deep sea fishing and fishing management and uh, all all sort of uh, activities in deep sea fishing like uh, operation, management, preservation, processing, and fish landing management, quality control, sanitation, and hygiene like uh, things. These are very we have uh, chalked out where we need uh, supports. So, uh, so this is a, a short brief on our. Uh, uh, the marine fisheries management and resource in Bangladesh. Thank you all for.